Hi, I'm Nathan and thanks for watching. Today's video is actually going to be a little bit different. I'm actually traveling to Japan for business and therefore probably a little bit difficult to put out my normal content, but I will try to do something anyway. Please enjoy. Hi, I'm Nathan and welcome to Ninja Monkey, the place for all things related to Japan. I do the research so that you don't have to and I put all the readily available information into one place. So if you're a prospective tourist or wanting to travel to Japan for any other reason, you've come to the right place. Well, obviously today it's a little bit different. I am here in my hometown of Gibraltar where I live and I'm set out to ask some questions to some people here in the streets. Mainly, number one, have they been to Japan before? <laughs> number two, what are their you know preconceptions or how could they would they imagine japan being and finally so watch all the way to the end i'll be getting a reaction when i tell them that japan is still closed for tourism but only open to group guided tours so let's get started Have you um, ever been to Japan? No, never. Never, never. I'd love to go. My missus really wants me to take her for a 40th. Yeah. So uh, we will go eventually. No, I haven't. I haven't. I wish I had, but no. <laughs> no, never. I would like to go though. That would be awesome. Have you ever been to Japan? No, never. Um, is it a place that you might want to go to? Uh, I've heard the people are very nice, so yes, most likely. Uh, I'd like to visit in my life, yeah. Have you ever been to Japan? No, I've never been to Japan. Yep, we went for our honeymoon um, three years ago in, two, in 2019. Um, we went for three weeks, it was, it was amazing. We definitely want to go back. <laughs> I haven't been to Japan, but obviously I know a lot about it because of uh, my cousin Nathan. <laughs> Have you ever been to Japan? No, never. It's one of my dreams. Probably one of the places I most want to visit. What are your your images or how do you think Japan is gonna be? What, what, what are you expecting when you do actually finally get to Japan? Very crowded, very colorful, lots of lights, beautiful scenery, lots of nature, lots of Japanese history, that kind of thing. My impression is apart from it being uh, very picturesque, it's very clean, very tidy, very well maintained and kept and the people being very nice I would think because they're very polite um, very high-tech um, LED lights everywhere um, you know little gadgets that they use for things that obviously we're never gonna see ever but uh, they, they do do you know they make things that we're never gonna use but uh, yeah no just the high-tech part of it really and what would you like imagine your first impressions of Japan what have you heard what can you imagine Japan being like uh, probably very consumer <laughs> uh, I can imagine there's a lot uh, there's a lot to do a lot to see a lot to buy um, you know the typical image of an Asian uh, city perhaps is is one with uh, big lights and colors and uh, and billboards and neon signs that's my impression uh, I think very modern and very advanced in technology and things like that. Very clean as well, I've heard. If you can imagine what Japan is like, how would you imagine Japan? Super clean, very funky, full of colour, full of life. You know, from the photos it looks absolutely stunning and beautiful. So I think obviously from what I've seen in photos and videos, it's, um, it's beautiful, looks absolutely stunning. Um, I think the people as well and the culture would be very, very relaxed and uh, yeah, I think um, it's definitely a place I would like to go. What were your preconceptions before going to Japan? Like what, 
how were you expecting Japan to be? And did anything change when you when you got there? We did a lot of research before we went, really, to see you know the etiquettes and things like that, because we know obviously it's a very respectful culture. With um, and we're not going to travel somewhere without being aware of that first. So we did our research before going, um, and we found that it was it was quite okay. We did um, you know we are. We didn't really have any issues at all. We thought we knew that it was going to be a, a culture shock for us. It's not Western at all. It's totally different. But it's but it's amazing. It's another level. It's it's better <laughs> than around here. So no, we had you know in terms of Google Translate, we had we had the apps, the communication. It was okay. We had no issues at all. We were really quite lucky. to tell you that actually Japan is still closed um, to tourists basically no. only um, independent tourists can't enter but you can enter on very very organized strict tour guides what's your sort of reaction to that Ooh, maybe I'll wait till it opens maybe I'll wait till it opens and, and it's uh, it's back to normal because at the moment traveling is chaos it's, uh, already as it is to add even more to that it will just make it harder so We'll wait till it opens properly. Really? I had no idea. Because of Covid? Yeah? I had no idea. Surprising really, because look at us here. Everybody's walking around maskless and everything like that. So They're taking care of people. That's what it is. The thing is, Japan, there's so many people. They have to be a lot more careful than most countries because um, you know if they if they don't make sure they stick to the rules they can damage the country in in tight you know um, there's just like I said too many people so things can escalate a lot quicker over there so yeah I mean I mean with all this pandemic going on I don't know why people go on holidays at the moment and why everyone's not waiting for it to finish well, I had no idea I, I guess that kind of ruins any plans that I, I would have had to go uh, I had no idea that that was the case what would you say if I told you that Japan is still actually closed to independent tourists and that only people can enter on a very strict guided tour? How would you feel about that? It's disappointing to hear, especially since most other countries are already open. But um, at least there's that option of having a strict guided tour. What if I was to tell you that Japan is currently still closed to independent tourists? But um, you could go only on an organized tour where you're guided around at all times. How would you feel about that? I probably would still want to go just because it's been one of my dreams. But I find it very, very odd that you'd have to be guided around and not be free to discover the culture by yourself, you know. So it'd be quite disappointing, really. And quite strange that they don't allow tourists when every other country really is pretty much open to tourism. To tell you the truth, I was quite shocked. We've actually spoken about this already, but it's quite shocking because obviously the world's now back to normal or as normal as it's going to be after after COVID. So a place like that, so big, which a lot of tourism goes in on a daily basis, for it to be still closed and the only option to getting into it being that is actually quite shocking, actually. So hopefully everything gets sorted out soon uh, because I know Mr. Ninja Monkey wants to get back there as quickly as possible, but yeah, I'm quite surprised about it, to tell you the truth. I suppose there are pros and cons to it, because obviously if you are not prepared to do that and you wanted to just go to Japan and explore by yourself, obviously that wouldn't be the best news. But if you want to go and you really, really wanted to go, I suppose the best way to go is through a guided tour. These um, tour guides, guided tours, um, you don't have, you have very little free time though. Then, for me, that's a, mm, not, a, not as good because I like to have my free time, especially when you've been through a lot, because guided tours can be very 
heavy sometimes. Like we did the whole tour of Kyoto on bicycle and we did the whole city up, down, uh, north, south, east, west, everywhere. We did every single thing to do on bicycle that day. By the end of the day I was dead. So if there's not a lot of free time to kind of recover from your tours, because they are a lot, then for me, again, it's a bit difficult. But, you know, I suppose if I was really wanting to go, I'd go. So team, let me know what you think about this style of video. Did you enjoy it? I'd also like to know what your sort of like expectations of Japan might be. Let me know in the comment section. And did you agree with what some of the people actually said? And did you know that Japan was closed? And were you equally shocked and surprised? I don't know. Anyway, if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to become part of the team to follow my adventures, then subscribe. See you soon. Bye.